Hey everybody, I'm Jen and I'm the host of the opensource.com weekly top five. This is where I bring you the best articles from the past week. There's an article on the site every Friday and there's this video on YouTube, on our YouTube channel every Friday. I encourage you to subscribe and um, get an alert when we upload a new video. So I told you guys last week that I had had a surprise for you and the surprise is a new setup. So I have this great board here, have my little um, kitty cats and dancing flower and penguin for Linux. And um, I'm going to be um, using some notes here um, and I'm going to try to look up at you guys as much as I can and reference my notes as little as possible. Um, but you know, it's a learning process. So stick with me. Hopefully it'll be fun. I won't have too many ums and ramblings. Um, so, I have some updates for you first, and the first update is All Things Open. I have my All Things Open t-shirt on here from last year. Um, the little space dude is the mascot of All Things Open, um, and then I have All Things Open up on the board. The conference is going to be from October 18th through the 22nd in Raleigh, North Carolina, where it is every year for the past few years since it began. Um, this is an open source conference that talks about open source in technology, open source beyond technology, communities, design, software, um, um, content management systems, all kinds of stuff. It's a super fun conference and I am actually looking out at the Raleigh Convention Center right now where the conference is going to be hosted. So it's a great time. Raleigh's a great city. Um, most of the opensource.com staff is in Raleigh, so we go every year. We'd love to see you. Please drop us a line if you're going to be there, and we might be able to meet up with you. I got this great watch from the SparkFun folks a couple years ago at All Things Open, and really neat connections like this happen. It's just you meet some neat people, and um, all kinds of different folks are there, so check it out. The other update that I have for you is that open source hardware um, content theme begins next week and so what that means is that every day next week um, opensource.com is going to be publishing an article about open hardware. So we run these themes every week about a different topic and during that week or that two weeks depending on the theme and um, what we have planned we run an article every day. So I would suggest that if you want to stay up to date on the newest articles um, be alerted that we have a new article. I would follow us on one of your preferred social media platforms. We're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, we're on um, G+, we're on LinkedIn. Um, you can also sign up for our weekly newsletter that's going to give you the best, or all of the articles that we published for the past week. Um, I think, or most of them. So anyway, sign up for one of those great ways to basically just stay in the loop and, and find out about the content that we're publishing. All right, those are my updates. Let's move on to the top five. So I'm going to reference my notes just a little bit here, which is, which is a new process, and I think it's going to work out good. Um, our first article at number five is Open Source Has to Be More Than Linux. Jono o. Bacon writes for his column Six Degrees, this time about the meaning and implications of openness. One of the many quotes that grabbed my attention from this article, it's a great thought piece article, is this, is this quote here. Whether it was Linus Torvald's first kernel, the first incarnation of Wikipedia, the first Raspberry Pi board, or anything else, the world's greatest innovations all started with that one person just making something. What transforms a hack into something with potential is that it is one, shared freely, Two, formulated with free tools that anybody can access. And three, invites participation from p other people who can make the hack better. Great quote, great article, check it out. At number four, three big lessons I learned from running an open source company. So this article is written by Grant Ingersoll, and he is the CTO and co-founder of LucidWorks, a venture-backed open source company, and Grant writes about his experience 
running and building Lucid Works from the ground up. In this article, he gives tips on what to sell, when support is necessary, and how to manage the community. At number three, why tools like Docker, Vagrant, and Ansible are hotter than ever. Greg DeConisberg is the vice president of the automation tool Ansible. And in this article, he writes that tools that allow people to speak the same language are seeing the most success right now. Read more about the success of Docker, Vagrant, and Ansible in this article. At number two, Practical Python Programming for Non-Engineers Al Stugart is a software developer and tech book author who writes that just because we're surrounded by computers doesn't mean the average person needs to be able to reprogram their smart fridge. He says though that we are in the age of the internet and the internet of things is upon us. So if we want to be able to customize that stuff as this age appro approaches, it might be good to know a little bit of programming, even if you're not a programmer, even if you're not a non-engineer like me. So he says that people like us can turn to Python. We can get just a little bit educated in this article. Finally, at number one this week, RTFM, how to write a manual worth reading. So let's start with what RTFM stands for. It is Read the Fine Manual. And it's a phrase the author of this article, Rich Bowen, says is uttered at people who have asked a question that we, the enlightened, feel is beneath our dignity to answer. But it's not beneath our dignity to use as an opportunity to squish the newbie's ego. Ouch. RTFM applies for one to the documentation needed for software projects. So many see it as a necessary evil because maybe it's not a fun job, but it's true that somebody does have to do it. Read more in this article from Rich about how there are people who want to do this job and there are ways to make it fun and engaging. All right, everybody, that wraps up the top five this week. Thanks so much for joining me. Check out All Things Open. Check out our open hardware theme next week, and I will see you next time.